Wait, what are the game of the year things? Game of the year. What are the game of the year awards? Can we have a look? All right. All right, so game of the year. Wait, what are the nominees? Let's go to the nominees. Oh, yeah, run a <laughs> Shut up, chat. Okay, game of the year. I guess we'll start with game of the year. All right, here's my... Okay, I'll, I'll get chat. I'm going to go through all of my predictions, right? Of what I think game of the year is going to be. Uh, and I'm going to be right about all of them. So, just keep that in mind, all right? I can't even... Wait, why is it not like... Can we stretch the screen? And then let's stretch it out. No, that's not right. Okay. Like that. Uh, a Plague Tale Requiem. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to be honest, chat. Let's just not waste any time. It's Elden Ring. Do I have to sign in to vote? Hey, can someone sign in and vote on behalf of me? Elden Ring for sure. That's my prediction. Best game direction. Elden Ring for sure. Best narrative. Well, I actually watched the cutscenes in Elden Ring, but it's probably going to be God of War. Um, that looked like it had a better narrative. But Elden Ring was good. Um, best art direction. Um, that's tough. I definitely know it's not Horizon Forbidden West, though. Um, I, I never played Scorn. Scorn looked sick. Um, I'm just going to say, yeah, I'll say Scorn. That would be nice. That would be nice if we live in a nice world. Best score in music. <sighs> Come on, man. Elden Ring music was so god tier, dude. It was so good. All right. Best audio design. I have no feelings on this. I know the card get card car games have normally very good audio design. Best performance. I don't. Never really watched enough to know. Games for impact. For a thought provoking game with a pro social meaning or message. Dude, I didn't play any of these. I, I haven't even heard of any of most of these. It's a cool category, though. It would be annoying if it was all just like, did Elden Ring win the category 32? Best ongoing game. Oh, fuck. I mean, I don't really want to say Apex, but that's the only one I know. And that's how these, these, these awards always work. You just vote on what you know, not what you actually think is the best. Because no one is playing all of these. Because if you played all of these... Uh, you wouldn't have any free time. You and also you would not you would not exist in in the world. Um, I'll just say Apex, sure. Best indie. Oh, I never played Cult of Lamb. That reminds me. I never played that. Neon White looks sick too. I don't know. I I feel like it'll probably be. Ah, oh, Sifu. That was a cool game as well that I never wanted to play. I never not never didn't want to. So, no, not that I never wanted to play a game that I wanted to play, but I never got round to. I should do another, like, long-ass seven-day stream so I actually get around to playing these games. Stray? I guess. I never played Stray, but I heard it was mid. Best mobile game. Apex Legends! <laughs> no way. What the fuck? No way! Are you kidding me? Best community support Apex Ledge. What? It's gotta be No Man's Sky, right? That shit was on, on point. I don't even play that game, and I know that community support was insane. Oh, my lord. Innovation and accessibility. Hey, that's always a good category. Dude, I remember that, um, fuck, which, I, I don't know if they, if this was a category last year, but I know that, um, um, what's the, the game that ever, uh, everyone hated, um, the story game, and the second game came out, and everyone hated it, um, the one where the guy and the zombies... Last of Us, yeah, Last of Us 2. That had, like, insane accessibility. I'm glad this is a prize. I, I hate it, and, and it's mainly Nintendo that does this, where they don't offer accessibility options. Like, why can't I customize the subtitles? Just let me choose how I want the subtitles to appear. It feels like it should be good, and also give me different ways to play and remap buttons. This should just be normal. So I'm glad this is a prize. Uh, I imagine it's, yeah, it's probably Last of Us or... God of War. Uh, the Quarry had a really good one, actually, as well, no. The Quarry was really good, actually. Quarry let you do everything. I just think that every every game should allow you to change the subtitles and remap buttons, if you so please. Why not a lot of people that do that? Not everyone can use the controllers the same way. Just, just let us remap. All right. Best VR AR? Among Us? Didn't that make people sick? 
I never played Bone Lab, but I heard that was insane. I, I have, I've bought Bone Lab. And I meant to play it. I don't have the rock boom sound effect. I need that. Best action game. Bayonetta 3, Call of Duty Model for 2, Neon White. I don't really have a dog in this race. Best action. Oh, I see. Oh, no! Oh, no! Fucking hell, I was sneezing like Tom and Jerry, dude. <laughs> Tunic. This game looked cool. I, I, I don't know why I never looked at more into this. Um, Elden Ring. Best role-playing game. I just saw I just saw Elden Ring and said Elden Ring. I didn't even read the category. I just assumed Elden Ring. Tunic was super good. I yeah, I really want to play more. Best fighting game: <laughs> DNF Duel, JoJo's Off Fighting Adventure, The King of Fighters, Multiverse. Mm, it's not gonna be JoJo's. Um, isn't the JoJo's there like a remake of a previous game that came out like two years ago or four years ago? I can't remember. It's like not a, not a, it's not like brand new. It's, I mean, DNF Duel is sick. Multiverse will probably win if I had to guess. Um, best family. Um, Kirby. The Kirby game was pretty fucking cute. I watched Joey play it. Uh, best sim strategy, Dune Spice Wars. That's a game? God, you know that shit is going to be impossible difficulty to understand. It's going to be like, here is the 50 hour tutorial. Mario plus Rabbids. All right. Mm. I mean, I didn't play any of these. I know Victoria 3 is a very popular game. Sort of Warhammer. Two Point Campus. I have no dog in this race. I'll just say Total War. I'll say Warhammer. Because it looks fucking epic. Why not? Best Sports. Resident Sleeper. Best Multiplayer. Overwatch 2? What is this? This looks like ass. Like these games, like I don't know if these are the best multiplayer games. These four, these four at least. I don't know about I don't know about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Really, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Two? No, I don't want to sign in. Fuck off. Splatoon Three? Really? Really, guys? Really? Content creator of the where? Am I? Where am I? For a streamer or content creators made an important positive impact. <laughs> Fine. I didn't want to be on here anyway. Ludwig. Yeah, such a good content creator. I love when he scams me. And other content creators. Last when he scams people. Last when he scams $500 boxes, he promised. He promised. Cutie deserves it though. I mean, Cutie, yeah, you know, you know. No, Carl's a great guy. Carl's a great guy. Carl's never scammed me personally. Um, you know, Nibbleon, I don't know how to say your name. I'm so sorry. He's never scammed me. Uh, no, Nobru, never met the guy. Don't know who he is. Never scammed me. So quite frankly, I know who should win this one. I don't even know. When did they add this category? What the fuck is this? Best debut indie. Hey, I'm a content creator, and I'm not just saying this. I'm not. I'm not nominated. Maybe we should keep it. You know, maybe you should keep it to games. <laughs> Best debut indie. Oh, that's sick. I mean, all of these are all of these are good. I'm indifferent. Best adaptation. Wow! 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 <laughs> Where do I begin with this one? This is going to be a hard category. Now, get, don't get me wrong, Chad. Don't get me wrong. I think that I think there's a good chance that Cyberpunk could could win this one, but I think personally, I think Arcane. It's got to be Arcane, right? I ah, man, it's got to be Arcane, dude. That shit went so hard. Arcane went so hard. Sonic Two was just Sonic One extended, dude. It's got to be Arcane, right? Come on, Uncharted. No, no, Chad. No. Cyberpunk Edge Runners was goaded though. It actually made me want to play Cyberpunk again. But I said no. Um, so yeah, I hope Arcane wins it. Most anticipated game. AKA, which game will let you down the most next year? And I think that Hogwarts Legacy is going to be the biggest disappointment of next year, if I had to guess. It's going to be the biggest disappointment. Um, or Starfield. One of those two is going to be the biggest shit game next year. 
Most anticipated, though? I mean, it's got to be Zelda, right? Like, everyone has been waiting for this shit. They delayed it just so they could win this prize. Um, I, I, dude, I would love a, man, I, I'm a big Harry Potter guy, and I would, I would love a Harry Potter game that went, that went hard. But, dude, it just feels like everyone fumbles the IP. Like, I feel like no game studio can capture, like, the feeling of, of being in, like, Harry Potter, right? Like, the way that you do from watching the movie or the book. It's so hard to make a game on magic, right? Of course you do. I mean, hey, listen, when Ma when Mario, when 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 Harry Potter was out, I was li literally the target demographic. Like, I grew up with Harry Potter. Well, you know, when the first one came out, I was like a fucking stupid little kid, and then I, I grew up with it and became more edgelord, right? So I was the target demographic, a British kid at the exact same age as all the kids. So of course, I, me and all my friends liked it. We all liked it. I, I fucking loved it. it. It's great. Like, I, I think the Harry Potter universe and, and is like one of the best ever. I think JK needs to stop talking in general. Um, but the universe itself is like, you know, and, and it's obvious by like how insanely popular it was that everyone fucking loves this universe. Everyone fucking loves it. So just, just can we get a good game, please? I'm begging you. Can, is there any, is there any like footage of this game or anything? Hogwarts Legacy. All right, Hogwarts Legacy um, trailer. <laughs> So a revealed trailer. Okay, let's. Am I gonna get copyright claimed? Ah, oh. eh, fuck it. I haven't seen this yet, so. Thirty-two million views. Magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. There's, there's no gameplay trailer. All right. That common bond we share is the legacy. Of Hogwarts. Alright. Okay, that's glory to these hallowed walls and quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. Okay. Alright. Every corridor. It looks good, but I, it's easy to make it look good. Every stone in this castle. There is gameplay. The story of witches and wizards who came before. Oh, look, Hogwarts gameplay. Alright, what's this one? It could work with open world. I think it could. That's just new new broom gameplay. Alright. <laughs> wow. This is the new game with broom-like gameplay. On the D-pad is that grid represents where you might slot spells. And so okay. right now, today, it we're not going to be going into the spell slotting menu because we feel like there's a lot of... The sound effects, though, like, looking back at the past trailers, it was just music, but kind of... There's a lot of secrets. <laughs> Aaron, just we do something, please? We responded according. We, 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 and we essentially see it as kind of like chapters in that narrative. Each Can I, yeah. a fight or something? Yeah. Mostly play. This person could happen. Colored kind of shields yeah. around the different characters. And you also notice that your spells have different colors on them. So to help players understand kind of like the function of their spells, we're yeah. trying to put them into brackets. So there are damage spells, there are force spells, there are, um, I'm forgetting the other one, all of a sudden, control spells. It's pretty good, actually. So those things for the player, yeah. they wind Doesn't up look also bad. being a color indicator for which I wonder how, it'll, which how deep it'll be. Used to break the different shields that uh, enemies can use. That's that awesome. way it rewards kind of like that close right. attention that right. you're paying paying on things. Kind of seems like the rest pause. of the time should, dude's talking. I mean, it looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical though. I'm skeptical. I, I, I think Harry Potter has had has really struggled to make good games, so we'll see. All right. So I think for this one, it's going to be Zelda. Probably. I think Zelda's going to win this one. Best esports game. I mean, it's got to be League of Legends, chat. I know. I know. No one wants to give League anything, but come on. It League this year was so fucking hype. Come on. Watching League was was so fucking good. The, the esports scene is the best, like straight up. I, I've watched Valorant. I've watched C CSGO. It's it's good. It's solid. But dude, come on. The storylines, the storylines in League and the production is insane. Best esports athlete. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Really? No. No DRX. Just, all right. I guess Faker. I guess it's Faker's going to win again. Maybe. Probably Faker. Probably be faker. It'll probably be faker or, or simple, I guess. All right, best esports team. Ladies, class.
<laughs> no. Um, maybe, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Bro, who are the who are allowed? Oh, they were in the league. I don't know. Half, LA Thieves. I've never heard of them. Dog Zero Esports. What does that allow? You like that one, chat? <laughs> you like that? <laughs> that voice actor. I, I I feel like I don't know. Recognized a specific esports team, not the full organization. Judged the most outstanding for performance conduct. I feel like I think our DRX should be on here now. Come on, man. He's clan Omega lol. Best esports coach. Yeah, I don't know any of these. <laughs> Best esports event. Oh, come on, boys. The world championships were so fucking hype, dude. It's hard, though. This is so biased. Like, if you don't watch any other event, how the fuck would you have any... any? I, I don't watch any of these other events. I mean, Evo is probably hype because Evo is always hype. You know? Evo is pretty sick. But League of Legends World Championship chat. 